was a Muslim and I will present an obstacle detection system based on uh, stereo vision and implemented by means of CUDA. The authors at with the Intelligent System Lab at the University Carlos III of Madrid. <coughs> this is the outline of the presentation, which is divided into five sections. The first one is an introduction <coughs> where we will show our experimental platform, what is CUDA, and the stereo question. In the next section, we will explain the use of the UV disparity and the results of the implementation by CUDA. In section 3, we will explain our obstacle detection system and the method of the obstacle localization. Later on, uh, <coughs> we will see a test of a system in a urban environment. Conclusions and future work are finally commented in section 5. Our experimental platform is the vehicle EV, intelligent vehicle based on visual information. This is a commercial vehicle where we have added to a stereo system and a computer system inside the boot. Beside the stereo system, the EV has got other uh, sensor systems, such as an infrared camera uh, for pedestrian detection at night and a laser leader for obstacle detection and classification. The vehicle EV also has got a GPS device uh, in order to know its location and speed all the time. Well, CUDA is an, an extension of C which <coughs> permits us to compute in GPU, graphic processing unit. <coughs> Traditionally, <coughs> the power of graphic card uh, has been used uh, in video games, but now uh, NVIDIA CUDA makes possible to use this power uh, in application of general purpose, such as physics, mathematics, or computer vision. The main feature that we get to use in a stereo system is that we, uh, we have information of depth. <coughs> the depth uh, of a point is a function of the focal length, the baseline between both cameras, and the disparity between the projection of the point uh, in the two cameras. <coughs> From the visible image, we can construct the disparity map. And uh, once the disparity map has been generated, it's possible to see the U and the B disparity. The U disparity expresses <coughs> the histogram over uh, disparity values for every column of the disparity map. And the B disparity does the same, but for every row of the disparity map. Uh, the obstacle appears in the U disparity as horizontal lines and as vertical lines in the B disparity. Another interesting feature is that we can obtain the, the row profile from the B disparity. The row profile permits calculating the pitch and the height between the stereo rig and the rope at each frame. It is important to highlight that an increase of the maximum disparity affects more than an increase of the size of the support region. Regarding to the step of the algorithm, <coughs> uh, the disparity map construction is the most costly. It is the 
85% of the total computing time. Finally, we can compute the disparity map and the UV disparity with a frame rate of 20 images per second. Our obstacle detection follows these steps. Firstly, we have the construction of the disparity map, and from it, the corresponding U disparity. In order to obtain the obstacle in front of the vehicle, we test all the U disparity. And with this information, we construct two different disparity maps. The first one is uh, the obstacle map where we can see the obstacles in front of the vehicle. And the second one is the free map, which is the disparity map, but, uh, but without uh, any obstacles. From the obstacle map, uh, we can obtain the region of interest by means of the blob analysis. And uh, from the free map, we, uh, we construct the, the B disparity and get the row profile. <coughs> the row profile supplies us to locate the obstacle in world coordinate and um, permit us to de determine what obstacles are elevated or not. Now we uh, present several results of the, our obstacle detection system in urban environments. On the left, we have the visible image where the obstacle appeared in red. And on the right, uh, we have the corresponding disparity map. As we can see, the system can detect different kinds of obstacles, such as other vehicles, buildings or trees. We also can detect obstacles on both sides. And even if the road has a steep slope or a sharp bend, we continue detecting the obstacles. It's important to know that we can, uh, cannot construct a good disparity map when there is a low illumination, for example, in a tunnel. The first step of the obstacle localization is to determine what obstacles are elevated or not. In order to know what the obstacles are elevated, uh, we use the row profile, which, is, uh, which relates the B coordinate uh, with the disparity. We can estimate what should be the disparity value of an obstacle if this one was on the road, and if so, to compare <coughs> this theoretical disparity with the disparity of the obstacle. If the disparity of the obstacle is equal to the theoretical disparity, then the obstacle is not elevated. On the other hand, if the obstacle uh, disparity is bigger uh, than the theoretical disparity, the obstacle is elevated. <coughs> the second step in the obstacle localization is to calculate the lo uh, localization for each non-elevated obstacle. Uh, in order to locate the obstacle, we combine two equations. The first one is the stereo equation, and the second one is the row profile. The resulting equation relates to the depth with the big coordinate, to, to the uh, image big coordinate. Uh, it's important to note that the resolution of the obstacle localization 
improve in comparison with the use of the only the stereo equation. This is, uh, this is an example of a text in urban environment. Uh, the, uh, the result are the region of interest in the visible image and the localization of the obstacles in world coordinate regarding to the rate. Conclusions. Uh, we have presented, uh, presented an obstacle detection system in real time, which doesn't need uh, any strict calibration. We can distinguish between, uh, between elevated obstacle or not. And finally, uh, the road profile uh, permits a better obstacle local, uh, localization with a high resolution. Uh, future work. Uh, as we can distinguish, between uh, obstacle elevated or not, is possible to support a traffic sign recognition system and uh, to estimate when it's possible to cross under an elevated obstacle.